Futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, simply hit the pause key on your video player. Hi. I Rapstein of Linen Associates with your metals market update and this is for Wednesday the 17th of October 2018 and we're right now after 2.30 in the afternoon got about another hour and a half left of trade but this will be in the area that you're going to get the settlement prices in on the uh, metal markets and obviously one of the things hurting the metal markets today is the rise in the dollar. That's coming about in large part because the Fed came out with their minutes today and it appears the Fed there's, there's already a discussion to overshoot on raising interest rates which would give a bid on that type of talk at least to the dollar and drop down the currencies against it. We still have problems as you can imagine with Italy's budget. We're already hearing that Brussels does not want to accept it. That gives the do dollar a bid against the euro as well. I mention it because currencies do play an importance in uh, how the metal markets react and we are getting a bit of a correction here. When we take a look at gold for the week, it's up $7.80, and it's staying over the 18-week moving average of closes. The market's in and up thrust, going from 1161.40 so far to a high this week of the close near 1225.90. So it's been a nice $60 rally, right? As we look at the daily action, and this is the daily bar chart, you can see you still have a pattern of higher lows and higher highs. Now if you take out 12, 19, 30, that pattern breaks and you'll end up with a higher high, lower low. I mention that because the resistance is here at the 100 day average of closes, supports back at the 18, and if you add in the Bollinger Band, while the market has struggled to get to the 100 day, it is fighting a battle at the upper Bollinger Band. The importance again is markets will only trade 5% of the time or above or below a Bollinger Band. And yes, there's Keltner models and other models you can use uh, to differentiate how Bollinger Bands are calculated, but with the same concepts, I happen to like this particular model and I, I've been with it for a number of years and I'm comfortable with it. So as I look at the model, I see resistance. I see that the momentum of the market has waned. It has gone up and all of a sudden it's struggling as measured by the slow stochastic uh, momentum oscillator. When I look at GLD, the ETF, the market got up yesterday, hit very squarely the 100-day average, the upper Bollinger Band. If we come to the day before, you did that too. So it was like an extra, hi, I'm here, and then the market's backed off a little bit. Overbought, in an uptrend. If you take out 115.08, then maybe you make a run back to the... Uh, 18 day average, but right now the bulls still have control, but I am concerned how overbought and the resistance point in the market. What you hear many talking about in the trade is that the mining stocks have done so much better and you see that on this chart. This is called running the upper Bollinger Band and you've done it on most of the gold charts that I've shown you, but if you take out 1978, 1976, what happens is the market could end up with a pattern of lower highs, lower lows, and with the overbought condition, it could cause the market to try to correct further, maybe down to that 18-day average. You are in a resistance point. You had one spike up towards that 100-day average, and it sort of wore the market out. The gold silver has become very tame. It has decided to park itself between 8350 and 8400 roughly and just sort of meandering, uh, if you will, going backwards and forwards there. You can see momentum has waned in the silver. You've got a pattern of a lower low and a higher high. That's not a trend. You went up and instead of running continually against that upper Bollinger Band, you got there and you're just sort of backing off. Support in the market is down in the 1454 level about 10 cents lower. Uh, because you're not trending, I don't know if it'll hold or not. You just don't have a trend at work. In the copper market, copper is finishing lower. It gives the pattern one of lower highs, lower lows. Now, if we take a look at yesterday's range, you can see at 279.30 uh, to 275.80, today you took out those numbers. So you have an outside day down. That means if today's high is taken out, 
be it on Thursday or Friday, my theory, and that's all that it is, it's my theory, is that that would be a bear trap and prices should go to the closest of the upper Bollinger Band or the 100-day average because the Bollinger Band is lower. That's what I'd look for. On the downside, I'm only looking for 275.33. It hits 275.40. For all purposes, you're at the support level, a difficult trade. In the platinum market, you're correcting an overbought condition, putting pressure on the downside. The trend is up with higher lows, higher highs. I would look for the trade to support the market right here in this uh, 831.20 area, and they don't want to get it back under that 818 level. That would destroy the chart pattern. One more time, the 100-day average and the upper Bollinger Band came into play together, and that acted as a resistance. In the Palladium market, the 100 day is way down here, by the way. So you don't have that to play with. What you do have to play with is this sideways action that's going on in the market. That sideways action is very important because from here come trades. This market has been a leader, a good second part of this year to the upside over silver, platinum, uh, palladium, all these markets. And I have to think this consolidation may be a continuation of that pattern. So I'm looking to see what the market does if it comes out of there. And in the dollar index, well, here's your weight on the market. You can see the market today surge. As of yesterday, I thought the market was in a downtrend with lower highs, lower lows. The key was not to take out 9506, which it did. So now the market is not trending in this. It's fighting a battle very clearly at the 18-day average, searching for direction, momentum flattened out, bias up, no trend, hard trade right there. But in talking all about all that, you know, you're looking at my phone, and in this setup for my phone, I've set it up to really cover the metal markets. And you can do this with your phone. There's a lot of traders out there. You're a metal trader. You don't know, need to know what grains are doing, for example. You want to know what this is doing. You want to know what the dollar is doing, interest rates. And the news stories you get, you want to look at the ones that pertain to that. You can customize it. You can always come in and customize your alerts, your screens. Let's assume that you want to say gold chart. It'll come right up. That's pretty impressive. Next thing, let's assume you've you got your quotes Current and you prices. want to listen to them. Gold December listen is down minus 2.2 and last traded at 1,212.2. Silver December is down. Now you can access QT messaging. I use that because when I put out my updates, be it commentary or recommendations, they'll come out via that. When my, these tapes, as you see me coming on right now, my videos, They'll come on in there. You'll get a notification that they're out. You don't have to go through five buttons, by the way. You hit one. News on the Fed, whatever it may be, you've got it all there. Here's how you get it. And yes, we want to give it to you free. So give us a call right through here. You can go to our website, sign up for it. You'll see our QT Market Center up here. Also try the platform that works on either your uh, tablet or your P PC. I'm Ira Rapstein. See you later.